Apple shares are surging, but is it time to take some profits? Kate Warren of Edward Jones, the tech sector has run up this year. What do you make of the group? I mean, how does Apple's earnings change your view of tech? Actually, it doesn't change our view at all. We have a buy rating on Apple. We've thought it's an attractive company. We haven't thought the current price, even with what may be today's gains, reflects the long-term potential. And so we're not in the mode of saying take profits on tech. The only reason we would do that is if you become overweighted in tech as a sector in your portfolio, so it's become too big a piece of your diversified portfolio. But it's not because we don't like tech, it's simply good portfolio management, mm -hmm. never to get too overweight in one sector, Yeah, and Apple even as good as technology. Yes. And, and Apple had a great quarter, iPad sales were up, iPhone sales were up, you know, services revenue was up, but China sales falling 10%, and one analyst at Strategy Analytics said the iPhone has gone out of fashion in China. And whether you believe in that or not, uh, it just shows you that the iPhone is not invincible. Absolutely. Uh, iPhone is never invincible. Certainly everybody has great expectations for the next refresh with the 10 year anniversary. But no one's sure right now. And the question is, how much does that provide a catalyst for the stock going forward? Mm. You know, we're thinking very positive, even if that turns out not to be the amazing phone that we're all thinking it might be. But I think overall, you've got a company that's very innovative, that's been building over the last couple of years in terms of doing new things, and has great potential. So don't put all of the eggs on the new iPhone basket. Look at it as a company that will keep innovating and keep developing new products over time. That's why we like the stock. Well, and here's something incredible. Apple's market cap is now at $782 billion. It's well on its way to becoming the first trillion dollar company. Do you think we get there this year? I have no idea, and the reason is you never know what's going to happen to stock prices short term. Will they eventually reach a trillion dollars? Yes, that would be my expectation. At the same time, though, you know that trees don't grow to the sky, and so expecting this one company to become that big mm. is probably a little optimistic. Okay, and then moving outside of Apple, you like two stocks, Medtronic, which is a medical tech company, and Spice Company, McCormick, we all know about McCormick. So briefly yes. tell us your investment thesis on these two names. Well, and in particular, I'd be saying, look at some things that have lagged behind. We ta started talking about tech doing so well. Look at some things that haven't done so well, balance out the portfolio. I like Medtronic because it's well diversified, has good growth opportunities, is restructuring the portfolio after the Convidian merger next year, yeah. around a 2% yield and dividend growth over time. McCormick, of course, is the largest spice company in the world. Mm -hmm. Again, mergers helping its growth, and we think because it's innovating in spice, being able to add some new products to the marketplace continues to have good growth opportunities ahead. All right, Kate Warren, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.